Welcome to this video tutorial with Virtual Racing School for the Blanc Pan series on iRacing. This week we visit the tight and twisty Circuit Park Zandvoort in the Netherlands. I'll be looking at a lap by Rens Brookman with the Mercedes AMG GT3 for which he has driven in default morning weather to match the official series. I'll play the lap in full for you first before then going into further analysis. Okay, so that was a 1 minute 33.965. So starting off then from the VRS website, we've got data packs selected and we're going to choose the AMG data pack as driven by Renz Brookman. We'll scroll down to the final week, open up the session details page and this is where we can download the lap files with the ghost car uh, replay the setup and of course we can click on learn track to load the driving analyzer which I'll do so now. This loads up the video which starts playing through I'm just gonna um, slow it down to half speed and mute it and if you're unfamiliar with the driving analyzer you've got a steering angle trace through the duration of the lap, a speed trace and brake and throttle input traces as well as uh, some live driving inputs down here as well. Uh, so I'm just going to click on sector 1 from the top and this will take us from the start finish line through to turn 1 which is obviously going to be uh, where you'll need to think about braking which uh, is going to be just before this turn in sign so just after the 100 marker which uh, lines up nicely with this horizontally painted uh, white line so we'll go, go to sector 2 and I'll switch to chase view and just play that through and you can see there that Renz uh, is braking just before the line so just before the, the turn in signal and uh, of course you can brake quite hard here and also you probably noticed that you can start turning in quite early so we're well before the corner here uh, but Renz has already started to turn in uh, that's because the, the apex of this corner and a few corners at this circuit is, is heavily banked so it's really good to hook up into that banking nice and early so get down low as, as, as early as possible and uh, and be aware when you come off the brakes that the car doesn't over rotate so you can just see Renz kind of comes off the brakes a lot before then getting back to re-rotate the car and you can sort of treat this as either a long apex or a double apex so this is kind of the first apex when the curb on the inside starts and then the, you can allow the car to run a little bit wide if you want the important thing is that you get back on the throttle as soon as the car starts to re-tighten which uh, Renz does there and uh, we're in second gear so a bit traction limited which is why um, he's quick initially but then hesitates and modulates uh, taking his time to reach full throttle there obviously open the car up use all of the track uh, the banking flattens on the exit uh, so you want to keep the car nice and straight you can use that curb on the exit uh, if you wish 
and keep the car over to the left hand side nice and tight to the inside as we go into turn two so braking into here is going to be roughly halfway along the curb on the left hand side where you want the the car hugging basically as soon as you brake and you can see that it's a very brief braking zone before Renz comes off the brakes as he turns in so he starts turning in just before the curb ends on the left here I'm aiming for the apex obviously and the circuit you know, the car goes very light because the circuit kind of crests so you can turn in a bit earlier than than uh, perhaps you might think because the the circ the car will wash out wide um, just uh, be careful that you time it correctly because you don't want to hit this inside curb it's very tall and aggressive and then on the exit as I said that the car goes very light so uh, you want to modulate the throttle nicely and also you are obviously want to try and set the car up for the left hand of following so you don't want to run too wide um, and here Renz goes to the edge of the circuit just about but then is on a trajectory which brings him back away into the middle of the circuit and uh, in doing that he briefly reaches full throttle before getting back on the brakes um, once again just after that curb ends so this is actually similar to turn one in that it's very heavily banked in the center so you don't need to go super wide on entry and uh, you can see that Renz has already started turning in and there's only about half a car's width to the edge of the circuit on the inside now this really is treated as a double apex um, but again braking hard initially and then uh, bleeding off very early on but holding those brakes all the way into the middle of the corner and uh, and so this is our first apex the car will just run out wide away from the uh, inside of the corner there and then as soon as it starts to come back towards the curb not once you've reached the curb but as soon as it starts to come back towards the curb that's when you can pick up the throttle and you can really be quite aggressive with the throttle as well um, so straight to 70% there for Renz and you can see the cars tightening up um, so you don't want to be on the throttle too early in case you wash wide that's the last thing that you want and uh, and then ideally you want to be hitting this second apex again just as the curb ends uh, and that's also the, the time which uh, Renz reaches full throttle and again open the steering up use all of the track uh, on the exit if necessary I'm just going to speed it up to normal speed obviously take the line of least resistance through here so hug this left hander get close to the curb but don't hit it and again um, get nice and close to these curb but uh, not too tight that you end up hitting them and unsettling the car so into the fast right hander now of um, six we'll go to sector four for this now there's a curb on our left hand side which is just about to finish and it's just after that point which is when Renz breaks. I'll just slow it down to half speed again and uh, there's also an access road just after and that's going to be our turn in point if you need all these references. Uh, remember to bleed off the brakes. Now this is a very very fast corner very very long corner and the most important thing is to avoid understeer in the middle so you want to make sure that you don't let go of the brakes and coast unless of course you've got oversteer um, but normally you get understeer so you want to keep the car nice and tight so hold the brakes keep the car hug this inside white line the whole way around and that's precisely why Renz is braking just you know five three percent um, just to keep the car nice and just to to keep the front end loaded so that when he does eventually pick up the throttle he's in the best possible position to avoid washing out on exit and you can see here he's, he's picked up the throttle quite quickly but still hasn't quite committed to 100% throttle um, just yet uh, eventually does so once he feels like there's enough grip there that he's not going to wash out um, wide onto this curb uh, which is quite easily done I must admit and then towards this gantry you want to uh, just clip the line again through the left to open oops, to open up the next right hander as much as possible we'll go to sector 5 that will be turn 7 and uh, this has a very small apex but you want to make sure that you hit the curb um, so braking just before the white line again or just as you pass under the gantry 
and bleeding off quite early on, not breaking too hard. Again, it's a very, very fast corner. Down into fourth gear, down into third gear just before the apex. And then I'll just show you this externally because you want to use a lot of this curb if you can. There we go, that's about perfect actually. Um, so you don't want to be too much on this second tier curb if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, that's quite nice. And then picking up the throttle as you apex as well. Uh, modulating, being patient. Now it's very easy to overcommit on the exit and to understeer too wide and then drop some wheels onto the grass just before you start braking into turn 8 um, where there isn't really much of a reference. There's this turn in sign on the right hand side there um, but personally I'm normally looking for the apex at this point and I'm just kind of subconsciously allowing um, myself to break wherever it feels most comfortable. Um, so again, can't afford to brake too hard here, you're turning whilst braking so just slow the car down nice and gently, make sure you get on the brakes nice and early and apex nicely so again, quite important to get close to this curb here it's a very difficult apex to actually reliably hit um, so it'll take some practice and again, picking up the throttle as you apex modulating, waiting, being patient. The reason you want to be patient here is because you want to bring the car back over to the right hand side to set up for the next left hander of turn 9. Where again there isn't really much of a reference but there is a sign that we've just passed on the left there which you can spot before you reach it and then uh, you should be able to gauge uh, when to break and uh, so another one where really a very very gentle braking zone not too late down into second gear and the car gets very unsettled if you're not too careful here uh, so you just want to be patient just cover the brake you're almost coasting um, just covering the brake just to get the rotation picking up with that apex curb and then timing it so you pick up the throttle when you know that you've got enough track to exit. Now I think Renz commits to full throttle just a fraction too early because he's running a little bit wider than optimal here and has an uncharacteristic oversteer moment um, on the exit where he's just dropped the uh, right rear wheel um, over the curb there but got away with it. Um, hasn't really cost him much time at all. So back over to the left hand side again gradually no need to rush it and spotting this 50 meter marker which is just where the curb on the left hand side starts this is the very awkward chicane of 10 and 11 and you want to brake quite hard into here it's just after the 100 marker sorry um, well it's in between the 100 and the start of the curb so keeping the car in a straight line on the brakes following this curb and then just as the curb ends think about turning in down into second gear so that's quite an early turn in there a lot of curb which is the quickest way for sure um, you just want to be careful that you don't get an incident but that is that is uh, definitely the quickest line uh, a little bit of throttle in between the two corners before squeezing the brakes again just to set the car up for the positioning for the, ne uh, the next left hander which basically you want to hook up into this curb if possible um, and that will kind of reduce the understeer otherwise you get some nasty understeer through here which uh, Renz has done quite nicely so that's pulling him around and picking up the throttle mid corner and then being very patient as the track flattens out on the exit and you lose a bit of grip so plenty of patience there opening the car up there is some extra curb which you can take advantage of which Renz does to the maximum there and then setting yourself up for the penultimate corner um, over to the left hand side again which uh, Renz is going to break uh, in between the 50 meter marker which we just passed you can see the edge of it there and this billboard so just play this through and again so braking hard initially and bleeding off the brakes as Renz turns in so and and similar to the previous corner you've got this flat curb um, throughout the apex of the inside of the corner which uh, ideally you want to try and use because it will pull you around and reduce understeer 
and uh, and you can see here that Renz has picked up the throttle very early on and also he's almost coasted into the apex but not quite so again it's important to to not fully release that brake otherwise you'll just get a little bit more understeer than is optimal so picking up the throttle mid corner and modulating it not over committing you don't want to run too wide you don't want to drop any wheels into this gravel and then into sector 9 which really is understeer city um, and, and can be qu quite frustrating because uh, you need to commit to finish off the lap well so we can see that Renz arrives here absolutely flat out has a lift so he's turned in already completely flat out and then has a complete lift and then commits back into the throttle nice and firmly again and yeah we can see that he's hugging the the apex curb there which is very very nice um, if you get any understeer you'll start to wash away from there so that's ideal in uh, in fact it looks like there's a little bit in reserve for Renz there just on the exit a um, little bit of track that he could have used uh, but that's definitely uh, what you want you don't want to be off into the grass okay that completes a lap you can find all setups, replays and telemetry for your own use and analysis on virtualracingschool.com where you can also book one-on-one -on -one tuition with world champions from the likes of Kuandersim Sport. Good luck for this week and feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.